The Russian Interplanetary Program is reviving one of its most important planetary science directions, the exploration of Venus. The first large-scale Russian mission to the planet in several decades is the Venera D expedition, which means Venera Long Living. It continues the Soviet legacy of the Venera 7 and Venera 13 spacecraft, which made the first successful landings and transmitted surface images from Venus. Approved in 2025 as part of a national project, Venera D will include advanced engineering solutions, autonomous operation, and multi-platform scientific systems. These will include a lander, an orbiter, and two solar-powered balloons designed to study the dense atmosphere of Venus. Venus presents major challenges, as it is more than 38 million kilometers from Earth at its closest, the Venera D spacecraft, weighing about 800 kilograms, will carry Russian-made scientific equipment that reflects the focus on technological independence after past international projects were canceled. Originally planned with NASA and the European Space Agency, the mission is now fully Russian. It will use newly developed systems for data processing, transmission, and analysis. The lander will be able to withstand 470 degrees Celsius and a pressure about 92 times greater than Earth's. This continues the tradition of short but valuable surface missions first attempted in the 20th century. The lander will carry advanced spectrometers to analyze surface minerals, chemicals, water-related compounds, and isotopes. Instruments include the laser mass spectrometer, the Mosbauer spectrometer, and the active gamma neutron spectrometer. A new soil collection system may be the most advanced part since it must quickly collect samples under extreme heat and pressure. Data will be gathered only for a few hours before electronics fail due to the harsh environment. This trade-off is part of every Venus mission design. The atmospheric segment brings back ideas first tested by the Soviet Vega balloons of 1985. Two solar-powered balloons will float 54 to 56 kilometers above Venus, where temperatures are similar to Earth. However, the clouds there contain sulfur dioxide and sulfuric acid, which are very corrosive. The larger 15-kilogram balloon will carry instruments to measure circulation, temperature, gases like carbon dioxide and water vapor, and isotopes linked to volcanic activity. The smaller 4-kilogram balloon will study cloud particles, wind, and lightning activity. Together, they may send back data for up to 20 days. The orbiter is designed for years of operation and will map the entire planet. Its goal is to create the world's first three-dimensional thermal map of Venus, from the surface to 170 kilometers in altitude. Instruments will study circulation, ultraviolet absorbers, and gases such as sulfur dioxide and ozone. Other tools will search for molecules like carbon monoxide, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride, and phosphine, which has been debated as a possible sign of life. Additional instruments will study the ionosphere, solar wind, and high-energy particles escaping from Venus. Venera D shows Russia's return to interplanetary exploration. In the Soviet era, Venus was explored almost every time with successful landings and panoramas. After the Soviet collapse, attention shifted to the Moon and Mars. Now, with modern electronics, lighter materials, and better data transmission, far more information can be collected than in the 1980s. The heavy Angara A5M rocket is planned for launch in the early 2030s during favorable Earth Venus alignment windows. Other nations are also pursuing Venus missions. NASA is working on Veritas to map the planet's geology and Da Vinci Plus to study the atmosphere and look for signs of ancient oceans. The European Space Agency is developing Envision to investigate tectonics and volcanism. India's ISRO is planning Shukrayon 1 to focus on atmospheric studies and radar imaging. Japan's Akatsuki has already been providing valuable cloud data since 2015. Compared with these, Venera D stands out by combining orbital, atmospheric, and surface exploration. While NASA and ESA focus mainly on orbital observations, 
Roscosmos emphasizes direct data from the surface and lower atmosphere. This approach follows the Soviet tradition of tough engineering solutions for extreme planetary environments. In short, Venera D represents the rebirth of Russia's planetary exploration program. It combines Soviet legacy with modern space technology. If successful, it will reveal Venus's mysteries, continue Russia's deep space legacy, and place the country back in the international competition for interplanetary knowledge. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us